Hi all, welcome to Clickshare.com. In this video, let's understand the difference between the let and the set statements in ClickView. Both these statements can only be defined in script. They seem to be similar, but the behavior of these two statements is different. Both of them are required in different scenarios. So let's start and understand the set statement first and then understand the let statement. So let me go to ClickView. Let me go to script editor. And there are predefined variables which are defined by using the set statement. So let's go oh, so let's go ahead and create simple variables. So before we go ahead and create some variables using the set statement, uh, let's understand the behavior of set statement. Set statement can be used to store the strings, numbers, and paths and the variables as well. So set statement assigns the value without evaluating the expression or the condition. So let's create some simple ones. Set and I would say v my value equals 5 plus 5. That's my first variable. Create some more. Just tap them. And then next one set v my my string equals I'll call this random string in single quotes and then next one set v my time so that'll be timestamp using the now function and then finally uh, one more this will be an interesting one set v my dollar sign expansion equals to v this value so let's see what happens okay so i've created four variables so let's go ahead and reload and let's see what are the values of these three Let's see what are the values of these four variables. Reload, click on close. Okay, let me create four text boxes. And the first one will be v my value. And then the second one will be v my string. And then the third one will be the my time. Finally, it's the my dollar sign expansion. Let me just adjust them. Okay, so if you see here, first variable we've declared five plus five. So this is not evaluated. Random string and then my time the now function is not evaluated again so it's actually storing as a container instead of the evaluating the value and returning the value and then finally the dollar sign expansion and it's expanding the value but it's not evaluating 5 plus 5 as 10 so you already see the same value this 5 plus 5 is same as the first value because your dollar sign expansion is evaluating the string but it's actually not evaluating and cal recalculating the value within that string. So let's go ahead and create the same variables with the let statement. And let's see, let's understand the difference. I'm sure that this will all make sense now. So let, nice and simple. And uh, you can either comment them or it's the same variable, so it will override the variables. So I'll go ahead and reload them. Now, if you see this, this is interesting. So the first one is evaluated 5 plus 5, 10, and the random string is random string as it's in single quotes. And then the now function evaluated and it's returning the timestamp along with the date. And finally, third one, the dollar sign expansion is actually expanding the string and also evaluating it. So that's the let statement. So 
In simple terms, let statement first evaluates the expression and then assigns the result to the variable. In contrast to the set statement, which will not evaluate the expression, but it just assigns the string to the variable. So let statement behaves in an opposite way while compared to the set statement. I hope you find this video useful. I would encourage you to participate in ClickView question of the day, where I ask questions on a regular basis. You can answer them to assess your knowledge. You would see instant results and also you can compare the results with other developers and designers. Just to show you what I'm talking about, let me open a new session, new window. And uh, let's go to clickshare.com. And if you go to QQOTD, and if you see, it's the ClickView quiz. And so far I've asked 138 questions. You can answer them and you will instantly see the results. These questions cover a wide range of topics from development to server and security and things like that. And you can also access all the archived questions. So I hope all this helps. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.